What's going on, children of the resurrection? The special people. The Lord's elect. That's who you are. That's who we are. We have a birthright, a biblical birthright and jurisdiction that the enemy cannot cross over into holy ground. That's what this is all about, man. All right? The first man was of the earth, Adam, our, our, our father. And uh, the second man, what? The Lord from heaven, 1 Corinthians 15. I'm glad y'all could join a brother. Hope you brought your spiritual appetites. If you fast, and that's what's up. Mm-hmm. Fasten them spiritual seat belts. I hope you have a desire to go higher in the faith of Jesus Christ, in the spirit of the living God. That's what all this living is about, man. Because without the Holy Ghost, without salvation, hey man, this world is is a dead end. It's a wilderness. It's dry, it's barren, it's unfruitful. And eventually you will have no desire for this life. You grow older. And uh, it's a desert land within your heart, within your spirit, without Jesus Christ, without you being married to the Lord, without you building that relationship with Jesus Christ. You are empty and desolate. Okay? And a broken spirit, who can bear? So eventually there will come a point in time in, in life that you, in this. You know, as you get older, and you lose desire, you know, to be here. You you want to you want to go, eventually in this life, man. And um, it's good to have that re uh, confidence and that assurance in Jesus Christ that you you have a place with Him in paradise, absent from the body, present with the Lord. The scriptures tell us. So anyway, we're going to uh, piggyback off of our last videos. This probably be part three and four of um, the law is my footstool. The law is my our footstool. And again, we're talking about the law of sin and death. We covered yesterday that the, the law of God must convert the soul, which is Psalms 19. What is that? Verse seven. The law is perfect, converting the soul. So we have to be converted into Christ. That conversion is Christ. The image of God. And really, that's that's a video right there. You know, we can end the video right there. Actually, because um, that's the whole gift of God. That's your uh, Romans 6.23. Right? The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. That's why there's no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved other than the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Acts 4 verse 10 through 12. It's all about the holy book, man, the holy Bible. And that's what the enemy uh, blinds the mind. We know this, that the Bible says the enemy blinds the minds of them that believe not. At least the light of the glorious gospel of Jesus Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. So that's why we must be transformed, y'all. That's why we must be converted into the image of Jesus. So they can look upon us, whom God has touched, whom God has blessed, and they can see Jesus Christ in our face, the glory of God upon us. That's your uh, Isaiah 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for the glory of God is... It's come upon you. You know, the world shall uh, become gross darkness. But it said, his light, his glory shall be seen upon us. The children of the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Because he repaired us. He restored us to what, y'all? To the glory we had with him before the world was. We are the children. We are the predestined. We are the people whom God foreknew. What is that? Uh, Romans 11? We might well start there. We might as well, y'all. Romans 11, verse 1, right? Let's go ahead, man. Let's see where the Holy Ghost takes us. Romans 11, 1. And it says, I say then, had God cast away his people? 
God forbid, for I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham. We got to be a seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. This is Paul speaking. God had not cast away his people, which he foreknew. That's the word we wanted. He fore, foreknew us, right? And the scriptures are given to them whom he foreknew, right? Uh, would not ye not what the scripture said, Elias, how he make of intercessions to God against Israel, saying, uh, but before we get into that, because we're taking steps, I like to be thorough. Let's go back here. It says, God had not cast away his people. He's talking about which he foreknew right there. So let's see what, let's cross-reference that real quick. See what we get. Romans 8, 29. I was thinking that too as a precept. For whom he did foreknow. Right, y'all? Right, Claire's? He also did predestinate. See, we predestinated. Before the foundation of the world, we were chosen, y'all. We were chosen. Okay. Uh, we bore his glory. In his heart, God's heart and mind, we had this glory with him before the foundation of the world, y'all. See, we're making it manifest. We're, uh, we're God's. Having a human experience. You might have heard that term before. Because I, I didn't coin that term. I heard that before. But it makes sense. That's what we are. We're God's having a human experience. For whom he did foreknow. He also did predestinate to be conformed. Look, class. To the image of his son. This is only the children of Israel. The children of Israel are predestined. Image of his son that he might. Be the firstborn among many brethren. Jesus Christ is the, is the uh, prince. This is the power, which is the power. The prince is the power we need to be converted. That's the law converting us into Christ. The image of Christ. We, whom he foreknew. We just read it. Right there. Key word, foreknew. Let's go to, uh, watch this, Claire's. Oh, it's going to make sense in a minute, class. If it ain't making sense to you now, it will, class. Let's go to 1 Peter 1. I'm just going by the Holy Ghost. Okay? Let's be led by the Spirit. Peter, uh, 1 Peter 1, verse 1. Let's see here, y'all. Uh, it says, Peter, an apostle. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to the strangers scattered throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia, elect, see that y'all, elect, according to the foreknowledge, elect is the children of Israel, Isaiah 45, 4 and 5, okay, elect, according, here's that key word, foreknowledge, it said, whom he foreknew, that's the elect, and they have the foreknowledge of God. Now, this was before the foundation of the world, knowing that we are the predestined. That's what this is talking about. Foreknowledge. Of this. So, we got to revert back to the I am. We coming into uh, our God's supremacy, which is uh, even before we had any name. That's what he told Moses. Uh, we're going to get there, too, in Exodus 3. He said, I am that I am. I know this is me. This this is advanced class, y'all. This, this is advanced class. Elect according to the foreknowledge of God, the Father, through, this is what we got to have, sanctification of spirit unto obedience. We got to have obedience to the scriptures. All scripture given by inspiration of God. And the proper for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, and in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, right, unto good works, right, unto all good works. That's obedience to the scriptures. It is written, man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds 
out of the mouth of God. Right? And sprinkling, check this out, class, of the blood. We got to have the blood of Jesus. Right? His blood cleanses us from all unrighteousness. Right? All unrighteousness. Right? Uh, if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, it says the blood of his son, Jesus Christ, cleanses us from all unrighteousness. First John 5, First uh, John 1, verse 5 and 6. Right? The blood of Jesus Christ, right? Grace unto you and peace be multiplied. Blessed be the God of our Father. All right? God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is ascension. This is just right being raised up in the spirit right because God is different levels our God is different levels to us all right he's a son of God on one level and he's a father to us on another level right he's God on one level and he's father on another level so he's father to his sons and daughters he's not father to the world but he's God to the world He's God over heaven and earth. But he's father to the elect, the chosen, the children of resurrection. So Jesus Christ is different levels. Right? He's milk on one level. He's bread on another level. Right? He's fire on one level. And he's water, the living waters on another level. Right? He's water and he's wine. Right? He's the almighty God. He's to us what we need. At that time. All right, he's a mother to the motherless. He's a father to the father. He's a friend to the friendless. Come on now. He's a doctor to those in need. Right? Of healing. He's savior to those in need of saving. Right? Uh, let's finish this up. Which according to his abundant mercy. Had begotten us again. He's, so that's the children of Israel. Being lost and then being found. I am not sent but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Matthew 15, 24. Begotten us again. This is resurrection. This again is resurrection into our Godhood. Alright? That's, that's coming back to I am, which is the Father. Coming back to I am, which is the Father. Okay? But through the name of Jesus Christ. Right. That's why I said we bow the knee to the father of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right. Because we knew him first as I am. And Jen, we got to get that. Uh, begotten us again into a lively hope. Here it is, class. By the resurrection of Jesus. See that? That resurrection. That's for whom he foreknew gets the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Right. The repair of the breach. No, my great mighty lion. I saw your video this morning. Shout out, great mighty lion. And on point, that video was on point, my brother. And yes, sir. So I'm bringing out part three and four right here. Jesus Christ from the dead. And I want to touch many points. Lord willing, we, we'll be able to do that. Verse four to an inheritance. That's us. Right? Deuteronomy 420. He brought us out of Egypt for this inheritance. Which is himself to glorify us with the glory of God that we had with thee before the world was. That's what Jesus did. We following Jesus. Our, our, he is, we can say our elder brother, but he remember does levels. He's a brother. Right? To stick it closer than if he's a friend. Right? You can know him on a, a brother level, a friend level. Right? And we grow up into the father level. Through Jesus Christ. All right, all right, we're going to see that too in the scriptures, man. There's different levels. To an inheritance, right? Him being our prince, right? He takes us through the veil. He's the minister of his own house, his own tabernacle temple, which is his body. Right? He's the minister, right? He's the high priest over, over the house of God, tabernacle of God. To an inheritance incorruptible, that's his body, and undefiled that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you, who are kept by the power of God, 
through faith unto salvation, ready to be revealed in the last time. That's the word. We kept by the word, the scriptures, which is the power of God and the faith of God, the word. Scripture is called the word of faith, right? And what is that? Hebrews uh, uh, 11. The world is upheld by the word of God. Let's get that real quick. I know I'm a lot of places. We're going to tie it in. You know, you know. We're going to tie it in, y'all. Hebrews 11, verse 1. Just show y'all that the word of God is the faith. The Bible is the faith. So if you don't believe in the Bible, you don't have the faith. Right? And vice versa. The faith is the Bible. Right? Uh, and he's infinite, man. We find, we're finite. That's why we have to trust in him. As the Bible tells in Proverbs 3, lean not to thy own understanding, all thy ways acknowledge him, he shall direct thy path. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, lean not to thy own understanding. His word, man. The lamp and the light. Now faith, here it is. Or the scriptures. Now faith, the scriptures. In the beginning was the word, the word was with God, and the word was God. That's the faith. The substance of things hopeful. That's what it's talking about. God is the substance. God is the faith. And God is the word. John 1. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. Same in the beginning with God. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. There it is, Claves. So that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. Right? And it goes on through the faith. Right? And that same faith grows. Faith grows, y'all. That's that deposit. The great mighty lion was talking about in his video today that he put up. That's that deposit. You know, so many uh, so-called believers, you don't, you're not putting in no deposit. Remember, he calls you that wicked servant with the talent. Let's say you do have the Holy Ghost. You're not growing in the Holy Ghost. See, that's that. You might as well not have the Holy. The Bible says it's better never to have known. Then once you have known the truth to, to, to go back into darkness, it says, Woe unto them that have an evil heart of unbelief, departing what? From the living God in Hebrews 3. Woe. There's a woe there. Paul said, Woe unto me if I preach not the gospel of Jesus Christ. There's a woe, y'all. These are the warnings. The great mighty lion told us about it in his videos this morning. John 3.18 is, is a severe warning. Acts 4.10-12 is severe warnings. There was a woes in there. The Bible is mourning, lamentations, and woe. The scriptures are. Ezekiel tells us that. The scriptures. Mourning, lamentation. That's sorrows. Mornings and, and sorrows. Right? Lamentations. That's that's sorrow. This is this is bitter sweet. This is bitter sweet because the flesh got to suffer. You got to go through sufferings. Hebrews, let's go. Hebrews five. Come on. To obtain the glory and the sufferings is what denial of self. Your flesh, man. Your independent man. Your sinner, man. The ungodly man. The one that's uh. uh Poisoned has poisoned blood, which is serpent's blood. Man, we got bit in the garden of Eden. We got bit with the poison of lies, deceit, way back in the garden of Eden through Adam and Eve. And we carry that blood with us until we find the cross of Jesus Christ. That's the escape, the way out. Jesus said, I am the way, the way out. I am the truth which destroys lies. You know, you said we made a covenant with death and we are in agreement with hell. Through that Adam and Eve life, we are doomed. We are condemned until we receive God's mercy. Mercy 
is in the faith of Jesus Christ. Only. O-N-L-Y. Mercy is in the faith of Jesus Christ. Which is in the what? The word of God. To them that believed on him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. What's the power? The word of God. All scriptures given by inspiration of God. We covered that. He that believeth on me as the scripture has said. John 7, what is that, 38? <clears throat> Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. He sent his word to what? heal them. And deliver them from the, the serpent's poison. Satan's poison. Which is what? Living in self. Living in that imagination of what? Our own evil heart. Jeremiah 17, 9. The heart is deceitful, desperately wicked above all things. How you going to escape your heart? Oh, you antichrist. How are you going to escape without Jesus Christ? There's no escape. There's no salvation without Jesus Christ. It is written. He's got to be exalted. The repair of the breach got to be exalted. <clears throat> what are we at? Hebrews 5. Let's go on with it since we're here. We here, let's roll with it. <clears throat> For every high priest taken from <clears throat> excuse me, class, among men is ordained for men in things pertaining to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins. Who can have compassion on the ignorant and on them that are out of the way? For that he himself also is compassed with infirmity that this is, this is Levitical priesthood. This is Mosaic law, Levitical priesthood. That's what you can't be under that. There's no way to be under that because we're not under the Levites today. Your fringes condemn you because that's a Levitical priesthood. You know, they talking about uh, uh, they not under the old, but you wearing fringes. That say you under the old right there, man. You break one law, you guilty of it all. And, and if you say uh, you're not in the new, then you're saying that there's been no sacrifice for your sins. And if there's a sacrifice for sin, y'all say Christ came to take away the animals. Right? No, if there's sacrifice for sin, there's a, that blood is what we want. We read that in 1 Peter, remember, by the sprinkling of the blood, obedience to the faith. We get the inheritance of God because of the blood. But the blood is the reason we can draw near God. Draw nigh. That's the new covenant right there. The blood. Matthew 26, 26 to 28. It's the blood. It's all about the blood of Jesus. That's the repair of the breach. The blood. The blood. With the blood, you justified. What is that? Romans 5, verse 1. Through nine, uh, yeah, verse 9 said we justified by the blood of Jesus Christ. Without the blood, we are condemned. We are condemned. God said, when I see the blood, we, we read that in part 1 and 2. Right? When I see the blood, I'm going to pass over you. No, we did that in uh, the video, uh, uh, the blood covenant. The passage, y'all know what I'm talking about. The passage, uh, uh, the, the rites of passage is the blood covenant. The rites of passage. We cover that. It's a blood covenant. Because we're gods. And, and, and this, this world is uh, wicked, carnal men. Demons and devils. This world is darkness. So we have to have, we have, to have the blood to be able to, to do what we got to do for the Lord. To pass through here. That's the, the, the Red Sea represents the blood of Jesus Christ. When we go through on dry ground by way of miracle. That's a highway. The blood is the highway that takes us away into the heavens where God's throne. So we live by the, the Jerusalem, the new Jerusalem, the throne. That's our dwelling. But remember Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. John 18, 36. We're kingdom people, but I, with this, we passing through here. We, we, we are uh, travelers. Wayfaring men. We travelers, man. We're strangers on the earth. Yeah, yeah, I'm we're pilgrims and strangers. And that's the proof we ain't covenant with our God. We're pilgrims and strangers, as all our fathers were. 
Ah, let's go on and abandon Hebrews 5. Just because I said that. Let's go on and abandon Hebrews 5. And uh, we might come back. We'll see. We'll see. There's a lot of meat there. So we don't get it today. We'll get it another day. Hebrews 5. We're going to abandon that. Simply because I said something that took me. They want to take me out of that. Let's go to uh, Psalms 39, 12. Psalm 39, 12. Hear my prayer, Lord, and give ear unto my cry. Hold not thy peace at my tears, for I am a stranger. There it is. With thee, I'm a stranger with thee, and a sojourner as all my fathers were. Right there. Boom. I'm a stranger in the earth, man, and a sojourner, man. As all my fathers were. You got to let go of this earth, this world. From your heart. That's what it tells us to be not conformed. This is what the law does. Convert you. Right. Into that which is perfect. The perfect will of God. The perfect man of God. The perfect woman of God. He told Abraham, walk before me and be thou perfect. Perfect heart, man. The, the law is perfect. We read that yesterday. Do we got to go back just as a recap? Let's go back as a recap. What was the Psalms 19? Psalms 19. We got to set it up, y'all. Before I start flowing, before we flow, let's set it up. Psalms 19, 7. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting into Christ, y'all. Right there, into Christ. Converting the soul. Because Christ is the testimony. Right? The testimony of the Lord, that's Jesus Christ. Is sure. That's the sure house that we read that we're going to read about. The sure house. Sure, make the testimonies the sure house. Making wise the simple. See, we got to become simple. We are simple people. That's why you got so many people followed false doctrines. They like sheep led away to the slaughter. Psalm 119, 130. Let's get it. Psalm 119, 130. We're simple people, man. 119 and 130. Let's get it. It says, The entrance of thy words giveth light. This is where the shepherd come in. Remember, God is the word. And the word is God. John 1, right? 1 through uh, 14. Right? The entrance of thy word, the scriptures. Right? He that believe on me as the scripture has. This is how he become my shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He leadeth me. Beside the still water. Right? The entrance of thy words. The scriptures. He that believe in me as the scriptures that say. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Giveth light. See that? It, 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 this is the engrafted word. Right? Coming into us. man, Penetrating. Right? So we can deny self. Once we get this shield, we walk we walk and uh follow the light of God, man. From the inner inner man. It giveth understanding. That's what we need. But I said get, with all that getting, get in understanding. It giveth understanding to the simple. We're simple people. <clears throat> so that's why you got so many follow false teachings and doctrines. Because they're simple. They're simple people. And if you don't come to the Lord, that big bad wolf going to get you. Y'all ever watch Baby Huey? I think I did a video one time. Man, Baby Huey was so dumb. <clears throat> he was so dumb, he was simple. You know what I'm saying? He would think the wolf could dress up like a... Uh, he could just be a wolf and just put some a wig on and, and lipstick and act like a, a woman. And Baby Huey was saying, Mama! He, he called a wolf his mama. That's what we do. In the flesh, we do that. We call we call right, wrong, wrong, right. Light, darkness, darkness, light. You see what I'm saying? We're simple people, man. We baby Hueys, man. We're calling the wolf mama. We were kidnapped. Right? We were kidnapped. Taken away from our border. Taken away from our history, our heritage. Our God, our language. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we were taken away from 
our ancestry and giving lies. And we call that wolf mama, daddy. You know, they raised us and we just eat and drink their poison. Simple. We're simple. That's why we need something pure. The antidote is the pure. The Bible tells us Proverbs 30 and 5. Every word of God is pure. Right? He's a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Don't add nor take away from his word. That's our healing. That's our end. He sent his word to heal them and deliver them from their destruction. The pure. We need the pure. We need the clean. We need the righteous. <laughs> Neither is there salvation. There is no other name under heaven given among men whereby we must. That's why the righteous will see it. The righteous will hear. Blessed are they to hear the joyful sound what? of salvation, of mercy. Blessed are they to hear the joyful sound of what? Come unto me, all that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Right? That rest is his perfect peace. That rest is joy unspeakable. That rest is life more abundant. That rest is paradise. That rest is God will think for us through his scriptures. God will be our eyesight. God will be our hearing. God will be our all in all. That's returning. That's returning. Well, remember, we predestined. Whom he foreknew, right? Whom he foreknew. Let's finish this out. The law of the Lord is perfect. We, we read that, remember? Converting the soul into Christ. Jesus. Right? The restore of the breach. Right? There's been a breach. In the uh, covenant. The testimony, we know that testimony is Jesus Christ through Scripture, right? Right? The testimony of the Lord is sure. That's the sure house. Making wise. The, simple. the Scriptures make us wise. The law makes us. The law is the whole Bible. It's the law book. Now we got to go to uh, Jeremiah. Let's go to Jeremiah 11. 11. Let's start with verse 1. The, the, it's a law book, man. The word that came to Jeremiah from the Lord, saying, Hear ye the words of this covenant, and speak unto the men of Judah and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say thou unto them, Thus said the Lord God of Israel, Cursed be the man that obeyeth not the words of this covenant, or law. Covenant is law. Which I command, uh, commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them forth out of the land of Egypt from the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, which is the scriptures, every word of God, Matthew 4 4, and do them according to all which I command you, so shall ye be my people, and I will be your God. By obedience. Remember the sprinkling of the blood, 1 Peter? And obedience. Right? And he said, I'll be your God. Right? I am the way, the truth, and the life. That I may perform the oath. The oath is the Son of God, Jesus Christ. Hebrews 7, 28. The oath is the Son of God. This is to take away our sin, our infirmity. Our infirmity is our sin to Adam and Eve. Man. That's the breach. That's the breach. We breach through Adam and Eve. And we were supposed to discover that, right? The first man, Adam, was a living soul. The second man, the Lord of heaven. That I may perform the oath, right? Resurrection. The oath is, is God coming in the flesh. Right? The, the oath that he gave to David. The sure mercies of David right here. This is the sure mercies of David. It's his oath. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit there at my right hand, to make thy enemies thy footstool. Right? That's his right hand, sin his right hand, which is his word, which is his, himself, to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed. He sent his word to heal them, deliver them from their destructions, to his oath, his promise. That's his promise to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. 
to save their seed, right? From the land of their enemies, which I have sworn unto your fathers. There it is, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey. That's life in, in Christ, life in the, the Father and the Son, which is Christ. The Father and the Son is Christ. The law converts us into this life. If it enters into our heart, we read that the entrance of thy word giveth light. It's got to enter in. It's got to penetrate and transform. So you can go into the land of Canaan. That's holy jurisdiction. And the wicked will cease from troubling. And the weary shall be at rest. What wearies us is our sin. Repair of this sin. Repeating, keeping the old law of sin and death. The dead end life. The barren life. The desert life. The dry life. The dry bone life. The ungodly life. Then answer I and said, So be it, Lord. Then the Lord said unto me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem. Right? And that's where the Holy Ghost came. Right in J Jerusalem, Judea, uttermost part of the earth, that's to the scattered sheep, those called by his name, the Israelites, God of Israel, children of Israel. That's called by his name, God of Israel, children of Israel. Now he's the God of Jesus Christ, and we're the children of Jesus Christ. The resurrection, Luke 20, verse 33 to 43. Jesus was saying, hear ye the words of this come, because we got a new name. We're about to see that now. As we get down to verse 19, we get a new name, which is Jesus Christ. Hear ye the words of this covenant, or law, and do them, do this law. For I earnestly protested unto your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even unto this day, rising early, protesting, saying, obey my voice, scriptures. Scriptures is his voice. Yet they obey not. So you don't get the sprinkling of the blood. If you if you don't obey, you don't get the sprinkling of the blood. Right? In the life of the flesh is the blood. The blood is the life of the flesh. We got to have the Lord's blood. Acts 20, 28. He purchased us by his blood. We're redeemed by the blood of the Lord. The sacrifice, Jesus Christ. The repair of the breach, Jesus Christ. We're justified by the blood. Uh, Romans 5, 8, 9. By the blood of the Lamb. We cannot return to the Father without the blood. No man come unto the Father but by me. He's talking about my blood. Matthew 26, 26 through 28. This is my flesh. It's me. That's the scriptures. That's the law. That's the covenant. My my flesh. My body. My blood is drinking. D. You got to drink. Drink this cup. Call upon the name of the Lord that you might be saved. Oh, house Israel. Is that God had raised unto you uh, his son Jesus, whom you have crucified. He had both made him Lord and Christ to the house of Israel. Exalted. And we must, whosoever should call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now you got to call upon his name in spirit and in truth. That's, that's his word. His words are spirit and truth. John 6, 63. The flesh profit of nothing. It's a dead end. Flesh must be denied. Must be crucified. Take up your cross daily. Luke 9, 23. Follow the Lord Jesus Christ. Put the mind of Christ on. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 13, 14. Nor incline their ear, but walked everyone in the imagination of their evil heart. That's the flesh. Leaning to their own understanding. Not obeying the voice of God, the scriptures. Therefore, I will bring upon them all the words of this covenant law. This is woe, woe to you. The disobedient, woe unto you, ungodly children of the flesh, which I commanded them to do, but they did them not. And the Lord said unto me, 
a conspiracy is found among men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They are turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers and which refuse to hear my words. Be obedient to the covenant. The words is the covenant. The everlasting covenant. You got to live by every word. Matthew 4, 4, the scriptures. Right? And the blood will be with you through obedience. We read that first Peter. He begotten us again with, through the resurrection of Jesus. That sacrifice of Jesus Christ. The other doctrines don't make sense. It's nonsense. That's what they call it. Nonsense. It don't make. You know what I'm saying? It's not even common sense. Because we're simple. Without Jesus Christ, we're feeble-minded, we're retarded, we're reprobates. The head of every man is Christ. He's got to be Christ. Jesus got to become your mind. He's got to become your understanding. Don't you tell us that in First John 5, 20? The Son of God has come and given us an understanding. We pre-death, you return. This is about returning to your father without sin. You, that's when you are a virgin. You have no sin because Christ Jesus, his blood of taking away your sins. You resurrected. You a new creation in Christ Jesus. You bought with a price, which is the blood of the lamb. When you stay with the scripture, stick with the book. Be repaired to breach me. Let me just jump down for time sake. Let's go on in verse 19. Because there's a lot of meat in here. But I know the clock is ticking. And uh, let's go with verse 16. The clock is ticking. And I don't want to go no further than part four with this. The Lord called thy name a green olive tree. That's Jesus Christ. He's the green tree. This is Romans 11. He actually here, y'all, uh, uh, where Christ is the root and the whole tree. He's the whole tree. He's the root and the whole tree. And that's uh, the branch. The branch, the scriptures foretold. Remember that uh, whom he foreknew, the scriptures foretell. Before the, it came to pass, the scriptures foretell everything. That's why we are without excuse. The scriptures say that a man that is called the branch will build this temple, this tabernacle. He will build his own house. That's your Hebrew street. The Lord, the Son of God, built his own house. That's the branch. The branch. The green tree. What is that, Luke 23, 39, something like that? Christ is the green tree. He's saying right here, the Lord called thy name a green tree tree that's jesus christ a green olive tree fair and goodly fruit that's righteousness and holiness with the noise of a great tumult he had kindled a fire upon it and the branches of it are broken we supposed to be the branches but we a dry tree and we got broken off see that's your romans 11 jesus christ came to and grabbed us back in through mercy through grace, through faith, through fellowship and relationship by the resurrection power of God. We got to know him in the power of his resurrection, the fellowship of his sufferings being made conformable unto his death. Philippians 3, 7 through 10. Not having our own righteousness, which is of the law, but that which is through the righteousness of the faith of Jesus Christ. This is the righteousness of God by faith. This come from God. This book come from God. Faith come from God. Righteousness come from God. Life comes from God. Mercy, grace. All the heavenly good gift. Every good gift and perfect gift. James 1.17 come from God. Come from above. Our immunities and privileges Come from God. Law comes from God. The Bible is the law book. Come from God. 
It is written that man cannot live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That's the law of the land. The Holy Scriptures, the Constitution. Y'all already knew I was going to say Constitution. That's a republic. That's the commonwealth of Israel. I got to go to it. I got to say it. That's Ephesians 2. 10 on down to 22. That's the body of Jesus Christ. The repair of the breach. I keep saying repair of the breach, and I ain't got one. Went to one scripture. But see, they cut our name off. Let's finish this. Let's cut our name, and then we get that repair of the breach. For the Lord of hosts that planted thee, he planted us, y'all, had pronounced evil against thee for the evil of the house of Israel and the house of Judah. That's why we had to have a new covenant. Which they have done against themselves to provoke me to anger and offering incense to Baal, other gods. And the Lord had given me knowledge of it, foreknowledge, and I knew it when thou, so he, we see the foreknowledge in uh, Jeremiah 1, verse 5 and verse 10. Jeremiah 1, verse 5 and verse 10. Then thou showest me their doings, right? Verse 19, drum roll, drum roll. But I was like a lamb. You see that? We got, we, that's what we do. We follow Christ. The, the pattern, the heavenly pattern. Moses built that tabernacle according to the heavenly pattern that he saw in the mount. But I was like a lamb. That's our pattern. I heard your video, Mighty Great Lion. You were talking about your temperament. And you likened your temperament. You looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of your faith. And you saw that through his sufferings he was made perfect. And that's what you're doing when you deny yourself. You deny yourself. When the time of your flesh is trying to rise up or wants to rise up, and you deny self, you deny that that wickedness, right? And uh, you looking under Christ, and that's your victory. And just keep doing that, and that's how your old man will decrease. And you will disappear. That old uh, creation will, will disappear as you keep Beholding the face of Jesus Christ. But I was like a lamb. Right? That's your image. That's our new image here. The head of every man is Christ. Or an ox that is brought to the slaughter. And I knew not that they had devised devices against me. Crafty counsel. I, uh, Psalms 83. Saying, let us destroy the tree. See that? And they and they did that with Christ. The heir. Right? Was that Matthew 22, verse 33 on down? They did, uh, intercepted Jesus Christ. Right? The heir. Uh, let us destroy the tree with the fruit thereof. And we are the fruit. And let us cut him off from the land of the living. Right? That the name, his name, he said his name, look y'all. His name may be no more remembered. And they cut off the name Israel. In Psalms 83, for time's sake, we, ain't, we can't go there. But they cut off the name Israel. But that's why he told us we would get an everlasting name that shall not be cut off. Y'all getting this, class? That's why we have to be married to the Lord, joined to the Lord to get his name. Because that name, right, is exalted. That name is glorified. That's the only name. In fact, that's the only Hebrew name on the, in the in the earth, on the planet, right? And going into the next world, the name Jesus Christ is only one name, one name. So all these cats who talking about they change their name to Hebrew, that's earth, earth, that's other flesh, that's other world. That don't even count. That's their own opinion. That's their own understanding. Y'all got that clear. Right? If it ain't Jesus Christ, it ain't right. I mean, come on now. He, he's the one that... uh, Because you, you're you not carrying that contaminant. That's contamination. Uh, your name is the foul bread. Your very own name. Remember, that's why Jesus said, if another come in his own name, him you will receive the foul bread. Remember, God said, your name got to be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. You can't go around talking about your name is blah, 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 if it ain't Jesus Christ. 
you ain't written in the Lamb's book of life. Come on, whom he foreknew to be what? Conformed to the image of his son. We read that. Romans 8. Right? Was it 29? Whom he foreknew, he, they were predestined, justified, 